It was the summer in 1990. Hold On by Wilson Phillips blasted out of the radio. Ghost dominated the box office, and Ken Griffey Sr. and Jr. became the first ever father-son duo playing on the same team at the same time in the Major League of Baseball. When Ken Griffey Sr. negotiated the Seattle Mariners contract for his 17-year-old son in their Cincinnati home on June 2, 1987, he didn't expect to be playing alongside him just over three years later. Don't forget to send me a copy. Ken Griffey Sr. was a well-accomplished ball player, nearing the end of his career at the age of 40, playing his second stint with the Cincinnati Reds. Late into the 1990 season, the three-time All-Star in 76, 77, and 80, who also won two World Series in 75-76, was given the option to retire on his own terms or the Reds would release him. With the looming possibility of playing alongside his 20-year-old All-Star son in Seattle, Griffey Sr. took the option to retire. But that's where a problem arose. Griffey Sr. soon found out that by retiring, he couldn't join forces with his son in Seattle, as retirement brought along news that he couldn't sign with a new team for 60 days. By then, the season would be over. He decided to unretire and accept his release from the Reds. On August 31st, Griffey Sr. made his Mariners debut against the Kansas City Royals. Griffey Sr. started in left field with his son in center field. Excitement brewed for the 27,000 fans in attendance. But with 10-time All-Star Randy Johnson on the mound, the Royals are unable to hit the ball past the infield. The home batting lineup had Griffey Sr. batting second with Junior batting third. After Harold Reynolds popped the fly out to center, Sr. took the stage with a single up the middle. Junior, not wanting to be shown up by Pops, cranked a single into right field. They both came around to score in what would be a three-run first inning for the Mariners on their way to a 5-2 win. More amazing than back-to-back -back singles, facing pitcher Kirk McCaskill, the Griffey's duo made history and hit back-to-back -back dingers. In the October 1st, 1990 issue of the Sporting News, Angels outfielder Dave Winfield said, I don't like seeing it done against us, but it was nice to see. It's like keeping up with the Joneses, but now it's keeping up with the Griffies. It's great for baseball, and it's great for Seattle. Griffey Sr. stayed around and played a total of 51 games with the Mariners before packing it up in 1991. Griffey Jr. went on to have a Hall of Fame career. During his Hall of Fame induction speech, he reflected on playing with his dad. Looking back, I got to do and say things that have never been said. I got a chance to play with my dad. I got to yell at him and tell him to get a hit. And in baseball, there's certain things of, you can call somebody a fossil, gray beard, grandpa, dad, pops, but I got a chance to say it and mean it. We hit back-to-back -back home runs. <clears throat> We're the first father and son. <laughs> We're the first father and son to win MVPs in an All-Star game. The decision reached to pitch to it. Sammy shoots a high fly out of the left center. It's Ken Griffey Jr. taking the play away from his father. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It's the White Sox 5 and Seattle 4.